What do you think's the hardest job in the world? Hmm. Prostitution. I couldn't do it. Well, you gave new meaning to hardest job in the world. Oldest. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon, follow us on subscribe to the like button. I think the hardest job in the world has got to be railroad workers. Probably not. No, I think it is. No, probably not. You know why? It's all done by machine now. Railroad workers have to work Railroad. all the live long day. <laughs> he said Railroad. Uh, I'm skipping over your dumb joke. And today <laughs> we are... Oh, we got a little informational video here. This is Indian football story. Soccer. Just so he knows what we're talking about. Uh, the, the world the world is your... Right, because football in India, my thoughts go straight to the NFL. Yeah. Great. They're great at American Incredible. football. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. The, the quarterback play in uh, India. Virat Kohli could transfer right now. All of those... For the Falcons. All of those tight ends are so enormous, but fast. Good hands. I love a good tight end. I bet you do. Yes. Um, so this actually goes over, because <clears throat> it's super interesting. I've never actually seen, and I don't know their history of being in the World Cup. Neither do I. I'm going to say soccer just because that's what we call it here. Uh, I know you call it football. I know you think we're dumb. That's fine. Um, There's a logical reason why we call it that, but it's actually, do, just it's do the research. It's actually from the British. Yeah, do the research. Um, but I've never, I don't ever remember them in the World Cup. I, I don't follow, you would follow, I don't. I have no idea. Um, I'm following English Premier League a lot. That's 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 my league. Man U is my team. Um, but I'm guessing next World Cup when it's here in the North America, they might be in because they're actually expanding. It's not just going to be the limited number of teams it was this year. Ah, they're they're expanding it. Okay, so more countries can get in. Where in America will that be held? Mostly in uh, America. Then there's two or three. Uh, stadium multiple cities. multiple cities in America yes. are going to host it. Okay, including LA. Okay, a uh, couple cities in uh, Canada, and then two or three in Mexico. Awesome. So it's just North America as a whole. Great. So it's North America as a whole. Yeah. Great. Um, but this is going to go over a little bit of the history of of Indian football. Indian football. Great. Uh, which is cool because I I don't think I know anything about it. And if, is it is the correct pronunciation? We're around the world, football, F U T B O L. That's Spanish. That's a Spanish pronunciation. Yeah, so okay, it's, it's football. Okay, uh, is is the main pronunciation, which is that makes the most sense. Because it's we the think game it's you play with your football foot. Football is because Mexico. Right, right we get it. So many Mexicans here watch it, and South Americans watch it, so it gets that football. pronunciation all over. Yeah, but football. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> The reporter asked, Why do you play barefoot in India? And he's like, You know, you guys in Europe, you play bootball, but in India, we play football. <laughs> they do that in Papua New Guinea as well. They play yeah. barefoot. Yeah? Yeah. Not surprising. I don't know how this legend plays barefoot. In 1950, a young India, a free India, was flying high under the tricolor. Sounds like SRK. It almost does. And as India found her feet on the geopolitical stage, she also found her feet elsewhere. It, no, but it did at first. Yeah, it did. Many stories have been told about the legendary barefoot Indian football team. But none are as famous and as untrue as the 1950 World Cup story. The World Cup started in 1930, and it was at a very nascent stage when the FIFA started. Everything was not very organized with the FIFA. Then we have the World uh, War, and uh, in Europe, who was the real pioneer of the driving force behind the World Cup, was in shambles after the war. The scenario of Indian football was that uh, during World War phase, mainly in Kolkata or in other places, football was on. So all players were in condition. And our team was considered as one of the leading team in Asian continent. Mm. We had qualified for the World Cup in Brazil and we did not send the team. An opportunity lost. Many of us did believe it's only because we played barefoot. In 1949, That's dangerous. 48, 49, January India sent a table to FIFA. 
that they would like to participate in the 1950 World Cup. And uh, AIFF, even after sending the cable, was really not convinced, or still divided, as to how India would go and participate. See, it didn't qualify straight away. It qualified rather by default, because there were three teams from, uh, from Asia, which were supposed to play the qualifiers, India, Burma, which is now Myanmar, as, and Philippines. Philippines withdrew first, and then Burma withdrew. So India had qualified automatically. But played barefoot. I guess. The mainstream players, they uh, prefer barefooted because it is often believed that they have got good control right, over could ball. Right, feel it. And it's they true, they, you do. Playing sh short passes, and this uh, short passing and slowing the game mm. against mighty Britishers who used to play in kick and run. So uh, they prefer barefooted. But the, everybody else is wearing cleats, and right. so it's pretty dangerous. Yeah. I started playing football at the age of five. Football has given me life. Those days, there was no boot. We were playing barefoot. Even the Indian team used to play barefoot. So I was also playing barefoot. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a very common phenomenon then. There were so many times where we were playing in a, a, a small sided pitch uh, just outside your uh, home where shoes were not needed or uh, were not. Uh, he actually Composite. talks a little bit like Amir Khan. So I've played a lot uh, of barefoot football. FIFA did not ban barefoot football before 1953. It was even India played the 1948 Olympics and 52 Olympics in barefoot. India has just become free and they are representing free India and they are playing barefoot. In London, definitely people were, you know, what's this? Yeah. People were very amused. The British journalists were very amused. The British, British, British uh, press and British public was also that somebody can play football barefooted. The biggest myth, which which actually uh, I don't know who manufactured it. If FIFA said that you don't uh, you don't wear boots, so you, are, you will not be coming here, which is uh, what I say, rather rubbish. I, I would say because the FIFA equipment regulation came in 1953. Only. Before that, in the FIFA equipment re uh, regulation, it was never said that you have to wear it. Those awful that shoes. Yeah. And if you look at it in 1952, Helsinki Olympics, most of the Indians were wearing, not wearing boots. They were barefoot. So FIFA not allowing 1950 World Cup uh, for not wearing boots. Yeah. Is is a uh, is an argument which stands holds no water actually. We played football, not boot ball, and we played well. Nobody cared that we were barefoot. It's not the reason we did not go to Brazil. So why didn't we go? All India Football Federation estimated that since the tournament was being held in Brazil, in Rio, it would cost about a lakh. I was going to say, and it's money. All India Football Federation was suddenly struggling to raise money. Then I think IFA, the parent body of Bengal football, they said they will give 25,000. My Soul Football Association, I think, said 10,000 or something. And the Western India Football Association, which is which is basically Maharashtra Football Association, they also said they will give 10,000 or 15,000. So money was arranged. It was not that the money was not arranged. All India Football Federation came here and even said that Indians were getting ready for the World Cup. But then they de developed cold feet. I don't think money was an issue in the end. I think the real story, which I also genuinely believe was, uh, I think the government of India felt that Olympics was more important for India to go. So they chose uh, the Indian football team to go to Olympics because the World Cup was not so big. June 24, 1950, this tournament was supposed to start. And then only 10 days before the tournament, they sent a cable that India didn't have uh, sufficient, uh, got the information late. There was a difference in the selection of players, so they will withdraw. And that time we should all understand, Olympic definitely was a much greater event. So they preferred Olympic and they left out World Cup. But this was probably the biggest mistake, uh, biggest unfair, uh, unfortunate thing to happen to Indian football. How would we have fared if we actually played that World Cup? Nobody really knows now. But nobody can deny the fact that we were good. Football was bare feet, but players were quite skillful. Yeah, we heard the stories. Again, sadly, the footages weren't there. My father, my uncles, they all used to tell us this. And it was all something that we heard from people. But how glorious the, the years were then. India first 
played their official match 1948 against France. That time when match was in favor of uh, India, they wasted two penalties against Mayati France. And in final minute, they considered one goal, and they were out from the of the from the game. But it was a really good show. It created a very good impression about Indian national team, and it really proved that India was one of the leading team from Asia. In fact, India after Olympics had beaten Wales also 4-0. Like in 1951 Asian Games final against Iran, that was India's toughest match. And India won the gold medal by winning by a goal. Frequently playing the Olympics, also getting an opportunity to play the World Cup, doing really well in the Asian Games, doing really well in the Asia Cups was a, a, a glorious time. And I think uh, every now and then, when at today's lot, we feel a little bit demotivated. That's where we want to be, that's where we, we, we want to reach because before our country was there, did that and uh, I just hope sooner than later we can get back to the glorious days. If India has to progress in football, I think it's the players that can perform and take football forward. And to get those results, you need good players. And to get good players, you need Welcome to start Welcome to your training life. And getting to compete uh, and getting that kind of I don't know of how they got away with uh, using that. Most of freedom and behavior. You give life to football. When you buy a football, you have no life. You play it there, you give life. Football gives us life. If you would have gone and played the World Cup, probably you would have played the next one also. Just the whole euphoria about and around football would have been different. You, you can't put, you can't quantify what would, would have been achieved, but because I'm an optimistic, if you would have played, things would probably be, sorry, definitely be better for football in India. I hope it happens as ASAP as soon as possible. And I can't wait to see my country take the win. Wants to rule the world. What did that say? Sorry, I didn't. It said there's over 160 million football fans. And they've climbed 60-something spots. 67 places since 2015 in their world standings. Oh, okay. So, climbed. And it is, it's interesting that there was such a connection early on in Kolkata because that is the sport. Of all the sports in India, that's the one that... Uh, Indrani likes the most is football. And she said it's very big, obviously, in Do you think Kolkata. it's the second most popular sport or the third most popular sport? Because obviously... Nothing, Field hockey's popular. Nothing uh, beats cricket. No, cricket's number one by far. And then I think I do think that football is second. You think football? Uh-huh. American I be, football? I could be wrong. Big Tom Brady fans over in India? Big Tom Brady fans. <laughs> now they're San Francisco 49er fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't ever recall India ever being in the World Cup. Um, time. If you play soccer, please let me know down below. I love football. I our two-time world champion. That's cricket. Oh, God. Why, why would it say that? Dude? Last time India was... Oh. History of India in the 1920s. The cup there, they qualified in the 50s. Was that the last time? Was in the 50s? Might be. Because I didn't bring hmm. anything else up hmm. since then. Uh, it'd be cool if they come here. Could be. Uh, in, uh, if they make the, the qualifying um, in 2020. Six is it? Was was World Cup every two years for a long time, and then it switched to four years? I'm not sure. Um, uh, how many teams qualify for 2026 20, World Cup? 26 have 48 teams. Uh, so it used to be. A uh, 32 team. Right. But this will have 48? 48, 48 Good. teams. So, and it said it, y'all were 60-something? 
They had climbed 67 spots. Don't know where they were before. Gotcha. Um, so is there a world ranking for soccer teams in yeah. FIFA World Cup standings that would show is. you? Okay. Um, and also that's a long, that's three years away. Yeah. Qualifying is at least Qualifying. two years away. Yeah. Um, for for that Olympics. That would be exciting. It would be cool. That would be really great. Especially if they ever got to play like America, which who knows how they'll do. Uh, America, <laughs> as you guys know, is not, soccer is not the most popular sport here. It's probably the fourth. And that's generous. You but, think it's more popular than hockey? Ice hockey? No, that'd be the one that would be the, the closest, but I think it's more popular than hockey. At least... All around. Mm. All around. North? No way. No, hockey. Yeah, the more. north and northeast, hockey's way more popular yeah. there. But but I'd still say overall. Down here? <laughs> no one watches hockey down here. No. Oh, it's, it's soccer. Kings. Yeah, but comparatively to the soccer fans? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have a soccer team here as well. Uh, LA my, my um, <laughs> we joke about her name, but Isis, who cuts my hair, her and her husband, they are Huge Galaxy fans. Nice. Huge. I've been to a Galaxy game. Have you? Yeah, it's a nice day. Yeah, I, we want to go. And um, I want to take Andrani because she likes she loves football so much. But yeah, it'd be great to be able to see them in the in the World Cup and see how they do. Because I know India would got. I know the big soccer fans because I've seen a bunch of um, people on Twitter, Indians, just following it, and their team's not even in it. And, they just, it yep, Andrani's paying really close attention to the World Cup. Um, so there's there's the fans there. So I think the fans would be extremely excited to cheer on the actual For sure. India team. So, yeah, I don't I don't follow them, but you guys can let us know any information about the India football team that we need to know uh, down below. And any other sh- football-related things we can... Football? I was about to call it soccer, <laughs> uh, which I do. And that's thanks to the British. You guys know about British carryover. We share that as uh, countries that kick the British out. Yep. America, India... Fuck the British. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know any of the videos we can react to down below. Just-